joined us a little earlier in the show, and now he is back to talk about yet another project that is near and dear to his heart. Marcus Jansen, welcome back. Thank you. All right, so we're talking about this documentary, Examine and Report, that we're going to be able to uh, see in just a couple of few short days. And uh, so tell us about that. Did you ever picture yourself as an artist, you know, 15 years ago, thinking, I'm going to have this documentary done? <laughs> no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Really quick. No, the film is, uh, well, first of all, the film, uh, the filmmaker is John Scott. Mm -hmm. uh, and his wife, uh, Madeline Scholar, was the producer. Uh, both of them were trained in Los Angeles. I was going to say, so these are talented folks. These are talented behind people this. people who have a lot of experience. They've worked with Janet Jackson and uh, uh, Jennifer Lopez and some of the other people uh, in, in the past. Um, so uh, there's a good hand at work here in terms of the, the film itself. Um, I, I was just happy that uh, he showed interest in, in me and, 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 and what we're doing. And, and so is this just really about your life? What can we expect from the documentary? There's a little bit about me. Obviously, I mean, I'm highlighted in the film, but the, the general gist of the film is uh, the political and social influences uh, that influence my work uh, and sort of a movement of artists that are now working and being very critical in, in, their, in their artwork, which, of course, 100 years ago was, was pretty much common. But it's well, that's what we were talking years, about, yeah. yeah, kind of the political landscape and kind of what you can say with art right. or what mm -hmm. people can ga right. you know, gather themselves right. from uh, some of the art. So what's Absolutely. the goal as people watch this? What do you hope they take away from it? Um, I, I just, first, first of all, I hope they enjoy the film. I mean, from an educational standpoint, it's very educational. Um, it does hit on some of the issues, uh, uh, the current issues, global issues that I comment on, of course, in my work. Uh, we are in this sort of new order that's being uh, formed uh, globally. And uh, there's just a lot to say in that, and my work comments on that uh, on, a, on a global scale. Marcus, uh, speaking global, your art has taken you all over the world, but you call Southwest Florida home, which we absolutely love. But why? Why here? I love it here. I, lo I love the beach. I love the people. We've been here since 2000, uh, 2003. Uh, moved down. My family was here. I raised the kids here and mm -hmm. everything. Um, it's just a nice place. It's very, uh, I can work quietly. Well, I was just going to say, as an artist, how does Southwest Florida help you become the artist that you are? Well, it's calm. It's not a big city. You yeah. know, I don't have the competition that I have in New York, for example, where I have to constantly, you know, you have to watch what you're doing <laughs> and so forth. And I've, I've, I've worked in New York, mm -hmm. obviously. Um, but it's just a very calm environment. I love the beach, and I love close, uh, be close to that. Well, as we close here, people are going to have the opportunity to come and see this documentary, yeah. meet you, and, uh, yeah, why don't you invite everybody out? Yeah, and, yeah, uh, please. I mean, definitely come out and see it. It's April 7th. Uh, uh, at the uh, Fort Myers Film Festival. Um, uh, it's um, the world premiere for the film. So um, uh, we're expecting a pretty huge crowd, and as far as I'm concerned, uh, it's the best thing to come are see. Are you nervous at all about it? It's the, I mean, how are you uh, feeling going into I'm, it? I'm excited. I'm okay. excited. You work very hard. You work very hard to get to this mm -hmm. point. Um, you know, not to mention that the film might be traveling uh, to other film festivals also after mm -hmm. that. Very cool. Uh, as well as uh, uh, opening up at uh, some of our... Um, uh, receptions, uh, th museum receptions that are coming up. So. I know you've got a full plate, but anything, anything new that's upcoming? <laughs> anything next for you, or is pretty much just the documentary? The and museum uh, tour is going to be coming up. Obviously, um, people uh, can also then come. Uh, th we talked about the book mm -hmm. earlier. They mm -hmm. can stop by the studio and get more information. We're downtown, as I mentioned before, uh, in Fort Myers. Uh, the studio is called Unit A, so they can come see us with that. But other than that, we're getting ready for the museum tour, which is going to be exciting. Gonna be exciting. Milan, yeah. Germany, yeah. And, yeah. and New York. So, Mark, it's such a pleasure to have you on the show yeah, this morning. We wish you all the best. Thank Keep you. us posted. Thank you. We'll do. And uh, yeah, we look forward to, of course, uh, again, Examine and Report is just uh, one good. over 70 films taking place at the sixth annual Fort Myers Film Festival. The yearly event is April 7th through the 10th. And for more information, go to our website, fox4morningblend.com. And up next, we swim over to Orlando for an aquarium that is a breathtaking view of marine life, how you can see life from the underwater world.